Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And um, so we continue we are continuing through the Forest Temple. Um, we've defeated three of the Poe sisters, which means we've got one more to go. Um, and in order to defeat her, we have to head back to <coughs> sorry, we have to head back to the main room uh, where we started from, which is just here. So drop down and go to the middle. It's time for us to take on the final Poe sister. So, yeah. Basically, she splits herself into four. And basically, you've got to try and work out who it is, basically. Yeah, so basically the one who spins an extra time when she when they um when they spawn in <clears throat> that's the one you got to go after so yeah this boss fight is actually a really fucking easy boss fight it's not even a boss fight i suppose it's a really easy fight so yeah you just latch on to the one which spins an extra time and just shoot it in the face i guess you can use your sword but there's not really a point there you go Hi. Bye. And there you go. Uh, four or five... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Four or five um, fairy bow shots. And yeah, you're done. So we're pretty much done with this dungeon. So now we've just got to head down to the bottom floor. We've got the boss key. We've got everything else. So now we've got this one to deal with. So... With this room, what you want to do is you want to pick one of these. So you want to pick this one here. So where it's on the red marker. Grab it and push it. Until it moves one notch. That will open up a way forward. Uh, a, a room. And then you... Gives you a button that you can press. Uh and that opens up one of the gates. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> My apologies. My fucking throat. Um, next. Push it again. This will open up a new way forward. And open up a new room. And we've got another chest. So let's open this up. Uh, I believe you have to do this... Um... I think f five times, uh, and you're basically pushing it uh, anti-clockwise to open up every single area. So, hi, fuck you, and that's the chest. Out of my way, Sculptula. Yeah, and we get a bundle of arrows, nice. But as you can hear, yeah, there's another gold sculpture in here, so we might as well get it. <clears throat> there we go. Boom. And I think we need to push it once more in the anti-clockwise direction. So let's just push it one more time. Grab. Tom. Do it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Grab and push. And then it will automatically go around. Uh, and then it opens. Oh, okay. We've got one more. Switch. And I believe that should be it. Let's have a look. Uh, can we move? Yeah, there you go. And there you go. All done. We've already got the boss key, so let's head in. Time for us to take on the boss of the forest temple. And, oh, this is a rather unique room. There's a load of fucking paintings. All right, uh... Yeah, I was actually stuck here for a minute. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I was trying to remember what I was supposed to do. But, yeah, you need to uh, try and exit and then... No oh, shit. I'm in trouble. What the fuck's going on? It's Ganon on a horse. My god. So, yeah, this isn't actually Ganon. Yeah, this is... I think this is called Puppet Ganon, if I remember correctly. 
Phantom Ganon. There you go. So we've got to deal with Phantom Ganon. He goes into the paintings and you have to basically... Uh, so he runs into the paintings. So what you want to do, get into one of these corners. Because then he can't hurt you. And you basically just got to keep your, get your bow out. Wait till he spawns. So he'll turn away and then... Yeah, because he shoots like a, a, an energy ball. Like uh, directly in the middle. <clears throat> so once you've... So we're waiting for him to come forward. Where is he going to come out? Oh, he's coming out there, so... Yeah, this takes me a little while. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but anyway. So, yeah. Uh, this is basically the long way of doing it, but uh, this way you're perfectly safe. So, yeah, he's coming out there. Fuck. <laughs> I missed again. Yeah, this I didn't do this fight particularly well, if I'm being honest. I could have done this a lot better. Um... So yeah, so you can see he's running out that way. And, oh, nope. Yeah, this is what's kind of annoying because the easiest way to do it would be to basically stand in the center and just keep kind of spinning around. See where this asshole is going to come out of. There we go. Yeah. And then he will uh, instantly return. <coughs> but as I said, standing in this corner basically means that he can't hurt you with his energy arrows, energy ball, if you kind of miss him. So, yeah. Uh, it does make the fight, you know, a bit longer than necessary. Um, but it does mean that you're not going to get hurt. There we go. I believe you have to hit him... <coughs> I believe you have to hit him... Four times? Yes, I believe you have to hit him four times. There, that was me missing, because I'm a fucking moron. I believe you have to hit him four times with the with the fairy bow. <coughs> and then he'll move on to the next phase of the boss fight. It's a two-phase fight. Yeah, he's not turning around. Yeah, so he's... Yeah, I, I didn't really... That was just a waste of an arrow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you do want to be careful though, you don't want to lose all your bow, all your am ammo. There you go, shoot him in the face. That's number three. Oh, there we go. So now we've knocked him down. He's now going to, and this is actually, um, practice for the final fight of the game against the actual Ganon. Ow. And I didn't do this particularly well either. <laughs> I really sucked here. Get a good distance away. And hit him. Then when he comes down, yeah, you're supposed to kind of hit him with a with your sword. Basically, I'm doing this wrong. You want to basically try and keep as a decent amount of distance away from him. Because uh, if you're too close, then yeah, you're not going to be able to return the shot. There you go. Then whack the shit out of him, and then boom, rinse and repeat. So you want to try and stay away from him. I think it's... Ow. What am I doing? I really sucked at this fight. But, um... So, basically, uh, the first time you hit him, you got to hit him back once. Here, you have to hit it back three times? Four times, sorry. <laughs> Second time, you have to, have to hit it back four times. Uh, and you have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. My timing is so fucking awful. I was doing so badly. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This is so goddamn embarrassing. Yeah, and he does this sometimes, which is really annoying, where he goes to the middle of the room, which means you can't get any good distance away from the prick. So, yeah, get over here. There we go. One. Two. Fuck you. You're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I was really not doing good here. One. Two. Yeah, I'm... Basically, you need to hit... I don't know if it's this version of the game, like the Switch version, which is causing me problems. But you have to hit it basically earlier than you um, think you need to. That's why I say you want to get a good distance away. Because otherwise, um, you know, you won't have enough time to respond when it gets 
because they get a lot faster and it's like here i was just like go to the end of the room go to the other edge of the room you fucking asshole thank you piece of shit <laughs> one damn it i'm oh i'm terrible <laughs> i suck <coughs> sorry yeah this boss fight was absolutely fucking atrocious uh okay so yeah get away far away from him as possible hit one two three four now run over to him Tom run over to him there we go now, I believe we've got to do this one more time and we've got to hit it oh god yeah get further away thank you I believe we have to hit him five times one two what am I doing I'm trying to time it. It's just hit it much earlier, dude. The shit. I was doing so badly at this. Right. Stay. Stay. Stop moving. Thank you. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Hit him again. Run. There we go. I think we needed to do it one. We need to do it one more time. Or one more set. One. Yeah, I was... Oh, God, I was... I'm so awful. <laughs> this is so bad. Right, one. Two. Three. Fucking hell, Tom. Learn your goddamn lesson, you stupid fuck. <laughs> I should have cut some of this out, man. This is too long. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Go. Run over. Run over. Run over. And there you go. He's down finally. So yeah, it's a singular hit followed by three lots of fours. And boom. Phantom Ganon is defeated. Looks like you may be c gaining some slight skill. Well, fuck you and your backhanded compliment. My phantom. When we fight for real me, it won't be quite so easy. Yeah. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. What a piece of shit. <coughs> but anyway. So yeah, that is pretty much like a little taster for what we're going to be doing as part of the final boss fight uh, of the game when we actually fight Ganon for real. Now. Yeah. Grab the heart container first. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to we don't want to completely fuck up here so yeah but that's it forest temple is now officially done and that's the first one in the future realm done we've still got um uh we've still got another five to go i believe yeah still got another five to go yeah, and here we learn that the the sage of the forest temple is Saria. This is going to become a, a pattern <laughs> where you know the the um, sages are all people that we um, we have met before, pretty much. <laughs> not live in the same world. No, that's not fair. <laughs> Now please take this medallion. Thank you. So yeah, I think the... Yeah, so they're kind of... Basically all the people who are the sages are kind of stuck, kind of looking over the, their particular temple for till the end of time, pretty much, I think, is how it works. But with that, we've rescued Saria, the sage of the forest temple, and we've got the forest medallion. So yeah. First temple done. Sari will always be your friend. I'm sure that's not what she wants to hear. But, <laughs> whatever. Oh, look. Great Deku Tree, still dead. What the fuck? Who are you? Ah, oh, it's these kind of gorgeous, like, what the shit is this? That's... <laughs> 
God damn it. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, you little bitch. So, yeah, this is the Deku Tree Sprout. Um, because uh, we broke the, te the uh, curse on the Forest Temple, he's able to grow now. So, yeah. We'll have a replacement for the Great Deku Tree in, oh, I don't know, another couple of hundred years. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so we have a bit of a revelation here. Um, basically, that the Kakiri um, never grow up. They basically stay, stay as little kids um, for their entire life. Which, uh, the fact that we've grown up basically means that we are not Kakiri, we are Hylian. So, yeah. We were kind of just taken in by the Kakiri. <coughs> Sorry. And this is where we get a bit of um, backstory about what had happened in, in the past. Um, so, yeah. Basically, there was a great war which was stopped by the King of Hylia um, after he brought everybody together. But in the aftermath, basically, of the war, a woman was carrying a baby, a Hylian woman was carrying a baby into the forest and basically got lost. Um, basically left before she passed on. She gave uh, the <clears throat> she gave the baby to the great Deku Tree to kind of look after and so he was kind of taken to so we were taken to um, uh, to to the Kakiri village and we were looked after as an actual as a Kakiri. So yeah, there you go. They don't really talk too much about it. <laughs> they don't really talk too much about... Something I've noticed, they don't really talk too much about Link's lineage in any of the games, really. It's just kind of like he's the, the hero who's supposed to save everyone, and that's pretty much it. But, yeah. I think that would be nice one of these days to actually have a... A Zelda game where it was all about where we learnt a bit more about Link's kind of heritage and stuff. But anyway, that's going to be it for this part. Join me next time for the next part of uh, Ocarina of Time. Um, we're going to be doing some um, cleanup before we move on to the second dungeon of the game, which is in um, Death Mountain. So yeah, see you next time. <laughs>